Hello guys, I'm again back with my YouTube channel Learn Milky Battles and today I'm going to describe another battle, a very important battle of Muslim history. The name of the battle is Battle of Khandak or Battle of Trench. Battle of Khandak was the third battle fought by the Muslims against Quraysh under the leadership of Prophet Sallallahu from 24 February to 31 March 627 AD. The concept of trench was first introduced in this battle and thus the battle was named after it. Muslims own decisive victory in this battle. Now before going to the depth of the battle we need to learn the background history of this battle. Now, if we want to learn the background history, we need to know the political situation of that time. We need to know the military situation also. And also, we need to learn something about economic situation. So, at first, the political situation. Establishment of new Islamic state in Medina. After Hijrat of Prophet Wasallam, new Islamic state was formed in Medina. Propagation of Islam got new momentum and Quraysh was jealous about this. Losing dominance by Quraysh The divine personality of Prophet wasallam frightened and agitated the Quraysh leaders of losing their leadership and influence over the Makkah. The Quraysh decided on whipping out Muslim dominance. Conflict of faiths. The new dynamism of Islam created a conflict with the older faith. So the general people, without understanding, considered Islam as a great threat to their belief and lifestyle. The betrayal of Jewish tribes. Bani Quinka and Banu Nadi were expelled from Medina because of their conspiracies with the Quraysh against Muslims. These expelled tribes influenced the Quraysh and other tribes to fight another decisive battle with the Muslims. And the neighboring Bedouins. Bedouins of Medina were mainly dependent on looting and plundering for their livelihood. The rays of Islam was a great threat to their greedy habit so they joined the Quraysh in a common cause of common cause against Muslims now let us learn some of the military situation that prevailed on that time revenge of Badr and Uhud the result of the war at Badr and Uhud not only frustrated but also frightened the Quraysh about their existence so before leaving the battlefield, Abu Sufyan challenged to meet the Muslims and restore lost pride after one year. Quraysh and Jews sent their delegation all over the Arab. They recruited soldiers from various tribes and organized an army of 10,000 infantry and 600 cavalry to capture Medina. The incident of Razi. The brutal incident of Razi was never accepted by the Muslims. The death of six Sahabis compelled the Muslims to give the Makkan a good lesson. Now the economic situation. Occupation of Medina by the Muslims deprived the Makkans, the merchants of Makkah to continue their trade with Syria. They also apprehended that further expansion of Islam would also restrict their passage to Iraq and Bahrain. So they decided to drive away the Muslims from Medina. Now salient features of the battle. At first let us learn the battleground. Important features of the battlefield or ground as you can see this is Medina 
It was a small township inhabited by few thousand Muslims. Medina was considered to be the vital ground. Then the lava fields. East of Shekhen and south of Jabal Bani Ubd stressed vast lava area which was impossible for major military movements. Hill of Sil A. It was the most prominent hill about 400 feet high, a mile long, running general north to south, located in the east of Jabal Bani Ubd and west of Medina. Mount Uhud located 4 miles north of Medina and raised to a height of about 1000 feet. The feature was about 5 miles long. Orchard In the south of Medina, there was an undulating area of orchard making it unsuitable for the movement of the force. Now the orbit of the both forces as you can see on the slide the allied non-muslims plan to attack Medina with 10,000 of infantry 600 cavalry and 1500 camel whereas the muslim had only 3000 infantry and 35 cavalry now the battle plan of Makkan allies Concept of operation To annihilate the Muslims by a cavalry, cavalry assault followed by infantry sweep Plan Mokkans planned their offensive operation in three phases In first phase, they would advance up to Medina In second phase, seize Medina And third phase, destruction of Muslims by annihilation Now the Muslims plan. Now the factors they considered the terrain analysis. South of Medina was covered by orchard. East and southwest were covered by lava fields and broken grounds prevailing movements of large body troops. The north Northeast and northwest was open to invasion. Threat analysis. On receipt of the intelligence about impeding attack by the Quraysh, the Prophet ﷺ appreciated that attack will be launched from the north, being an open country. So the concept of operation. Appreciating own numerical inferiority, the Prophet ﷺ decided to defend Medina at the outskirts and deny enemy invasion. Accordingly, a Persian follower, Salman Farshi, gave the plan of digging a trench along the most likely approaches. With that concept of operation, the detailed plan of defense was to dig the trench and the size of the trench would be 3.5 miles long, 15 feet width and varying depth up to 15 feet. Obstacle integration, the trench would be integrated with existing natural obstacles like rocks and mountains. Strength of the trench, excavated rocks and stones would be used as missiles while the earth would be dumped on the home bank to make it higher. Layout, it ran from Sheikhen to the hill of Jubab and then west to Jabal Bani Ud. Now the concentration area or camp, Muslims established their camps just ahead of Mount Sil A. Strong point. Different Muslim communities to prepare and guard the trench. There would be 10 men 
per 40 cubits of space. Bani Kuraiza were to guard the southern part as they were in pact of non-aggression. Command post Mount Seal A dominating over the entire northern front would serve as the common post. Mobile reserve Bulk of the force was, remain, was to remain uncommitted to strike at any point if the enemy might manage to get a foothold across this trench. A mobile force of 500 men were to patrol the various areas not covered by the ditch led by Hazrat Ali. Protective elements To guard against surprise, the ditch was likely covered along its entire length by 200 archers placed on the hills dominating the ditch. And the administrative aspects Food reserve was sufficient, new wells constructed, existing ones were maintained. Women were given to cook food and take care of wounded. All deaths from neighboring orchards be harvested so that they may be denied to enemy. Conduct of the battle. Concentration by enemy. On 24 February, the Allies arrived near Medina and established their camps. Quraysh camped west of Mount Uhud. Uh, Ghatfan and other tribes camped about two miles east of Mount Uhud. The siege of Madina on 26th February. The Allies advanced towards Madina and contact the Muslim force, finding a well dug trench system all along. They were surprised. However, they deployed along the trench and started the battle by fall three arrows and stones for first 10 days several attempts were made to cross the ditch on horseback but failed to make any headway on 15th march seven cavalry including ikrama could cross the ditch near jubab hill but they were beaten back having one casualty of Muslim side and two in allied. Then on 16th March, Khalid bin Walid, after crossing the ditch, had to retreat, finding the Muslims forming up. With the prolonged siege, the Makkan faced difficulty in obtaining food and fodder. Again, a caravan of 20 camel carrying food and fodder was ambushed by the Muslims aggravated the logistic problems. The Makkan tried to bring Bani Kuraija on their side. This attempt was annihilated by the Prophet by his brilliant diplomatic and psychological counter move. Then on 18th March a sudden violent storm struck the Allied camps which destroyed their tent, ration, and equipment. By that, the Makkan gave up the hope of success. The alliance split up into different contingents and they retreated. So, after 23 days of fruitless seizure, lots of logistic problems and suffering from weather as well as mistrust among the allies Quraysh finally accepted the defeat and left Medina. In this battle, some of the important points which may be required for the learners of military battles or military history are diplomacy and psychological effort which was taken by Prophet then the military attributes of Prophet or factors contributing the Muslims victory then maybe we need to learn the causes for which Makkan got defeated and some of the lessons learned these points are deliberately covered in my website multi battles 
www.blogspot.com I again say militarybattles.blogspot.com I will give the link to my description. You can visit to learn the point form of informations about these factors. If you have any query, you can also comment below and I will try my best to give the answers. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.